Hello everyone and welcome to Low Budget Otaku and today I have a review that a lot of you guys uh, asked of me and is the fake figure of Lancer's Caffeine I don't know how to say the name uh, and I was actually looking forward to it because it didn't look like a bad figure how I was wrong now probably this, this review is going to be much shorter because let me tell you that this figure made me angry. Now, one thing that a lot of you also actually asked me when you asked me to get it was about the color. If the color was correct, because the color, I'm not really sure. I'm probably going to put some images of the original, but I do think her color scheme looks a bit lighter than the original. Now, when I was looking at the figure itself when he arrived, the packaging came terrible really, really awful packaging and immediately problems started arising one of them was the arm right arm always popping off and this shoulder blade was also popped off and I was like oh, oh. now when I looked at it it should I didn't actually never happened to me no, the arm coming off this easily and it does come off extremely easy and it's really frustrating terrible really uh, the shoulder guard it's also in a ball joint and shoulder guards don't look that good but they don't look terrible either what does look terrible and I will not forgive is the neck but I'll show you that later let me first show you what the figure brought it brought two lenses they're very long and they look okay I guess eh, for the most part it is well painted this one looks a bit crooked uh, but probably that was because of the terrible packaging but overall they look fine it's good detail the sculpting is correct she brings the stand it is not the one the looser ones but you can still tighten up the stand a little bit more then we have hands one hand is missing you just brought one fist hand looks okay but again it is missing by the way I'm noticing that the colors are not really showing really well uh, so I'm going to then put some pictures for the colors to be more accurate I, I don't know why it looks more bluish right now on video but it is more purple then we have two grubby hands that seem to be the same so probably what happened instead of putting the missing fist hand I got two grabby hands from the same side because no no actually no no sorry I was doing a mistake there's actually two sets of grabby hands ones look like they're more closed and the others look like they're more open so it is a mess not that much variety because if I didn't notice that right now, I thought it was the same type of hands. Then we have these two type of, I don't know, support hands for the lens. And we have the two open hands that she comes with. Then we get three faces. We have the first face that has like a very neutral look. We have this one that is like a... I don't even know what type of expression this can be but it is okay the lips are not that well painted but still a okay face and then we have like the screaming face the screaming face is okay some paint defects do exist and there he goes, the arm falling again. 
So let me show you the biggest problem with this figure. And it's the neck. Yes, and the arm. The neck is completely ruined. This is in the worst paint job that I've seen so far. It is completely ruined. Oh my god. How it was possible to ruin the neck this far is unbelievable. Again, everything just seems to be falling apart on this figure. After getting Midoriya and John the Hark, they were really two nice figures. This is nowhere near. Focus. I'm trying to get some focus on that peg. If you notice, the peg is completely destroyed. It is not well shaped, that's why it's always falling. It is terrible. Well, let's quickly take a look at the articulation. <sighs> so yeah, she has that... Oh, first of all, let's remove that face. Same system as always. Let's put that angry face, because that's how I'm feeling. And there you go. And uh, <laughs> She's falling apart all over the place, so... Yes, we have that hinge to ball hinge to ball joint on the head we have a ball joint for these shoulder pads that allows it to get out of the way we have a ball joint to ball hinge system as always then we have that normal hinge on the elbow a ball hinge in the hands we have a ball joint to another ball joint on the waist allows and you know the head itself doesn't want to stay great that allows it to swivel around there no articulation here just a spread and another thing is falling apart uh, well she cannot kick that far front not that far back she does spread not too much <sighs> then we have that normal hinge in the knee and a hinge in the foot and that's it terrible arty oh we have the hair the hair the hair is also articulated and it can basically let me see so we have a ball hinge there so supposedly you can help get it out of the way to put the stand and that's it this figure is terrible <laughs> let's see if it, she can at least hold the freaking lens oh how is she going to hold the lens with a harm that is always popping off i'm not hey this this is gonna be fun man. of course hey falling down Okay, she can grab it, can she hold it? Yeah, okay, she can hold it, so it's not that heavy. Yeah. Size comparison. Figma, Deadpool, Gilgamesh, John the Hark, Edgy, John the Hark, and Ram. Posing this figure is a living nightmare and I do not give it my Lobo Jototaku seal of approval. Save up your money and if you really want this figure maybe try getting the original. At least the one that I got is not a good replacement at all. It is a bad figure. So I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did don't forget to subscribe. Hit the little bell icon to know when the next review is up. See you next time. Do it! Just...